So, I just saw Jurassic Park, Lost World. So, I just saw Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, a brilliant and stunning piece of cinematography with an excellent story and full of developed, complex, and meaningful characters. Wait, no, that's Ozark. Fallen Kingdom isn't even really a Jurassic Park movie. It has a lot of character, somewhere, I'm sure, but Fallen Kingdom doesn't feel like it's a Jurassic Park movie. The change in narrative should probably be more attributed towards Jurassic World since it laid out the groundwork by introducing hybrid dinosaurs and the conspiracy aspect to it all, but Fallen Kingdom is the one that executes it. And it doesn't do a bad job with it. In many ways, it reminds me of the new Star Wars movies, though. It's a new trilogy on an already established established franchise and it changes things up. Of course, in stark contrast to Star Wars, the dinosaurs are still created using DNA extracted from amber. Instead of just naturally existing because some pissy twat hated the force was already fully developed. It's a new approach to the franchise, and they're doing it better than Lucasfilm, even though Ryan Johnson is the whole reason Star Wars is in some deep shit. I respect the new approach they're taking with the Jurassic franchise. It acknowledges the past movies, but still goes its own way. A way that is quite clearly very profitable. A way I enjoy for the most part. The chief issue of the new direction is that, as I said, it's just not a Jurassic Park movie. It's a monster movie more than anything, and with the way Fallen Kingdom unfolds, it's clearly setting up for a far more monster movie based formula. It's nowhere near as bad as what Ryan Johnson did with Star Wars, but same as I'd be comfortable with Ryan Johnson abandoning film over his crimes. I'm sure die-hard Jurassic Park fans aren't exactly welcoming this departure from the old formula with open arms. Fuck Ryan Johnson, basically. Now, time to get into the good and the bad of Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom. <laughs> Alright, let's be real. It's a movie about dinosaurs, and dinosaurs are fucking awesome. There's no way around it. You put dinosaurs in something, and it gets 100% better. Excluding the Super Mario Bros. movie, because that, that was just weird. Really fucking weird. <laughs> Jurassic Park was ahead of its time with the CGI and physical models it used, and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom is without a doubt the pinnacle of what modern technology can achieve in terms of bringing dinosaurs to life. They use CGI and physical models same as they did in Jurassic Park, and it is absolutely stunning to see on screen. It's an A plus in that department. The soundtrack for Fallen Kingdom is also good, but it's a bit too familiar at some points. This and Jurassic World both tried to imitate a lot of what Jurassic Park did, and there's a lot of callbacks to it, so I'm not going to really be mad about the the way the soundtrack is, it's supposed to be nostalgia, and nostalgia is nostalgia. I'm not gonna send nostalgia. The acting is also really good. Chris Pratt is on point as expected, Bryce Dallas Howard as well is very good, and the supporting cast aren't too shabby either. Jeff Goldblum's two scenes are very good, mainly in terms of acting quality, not so much in terms of story relevancy. However, a lot of the acting is just good. There's scenes that are like, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. That's that's Jurassic Park, all right. But the relevancy to the plot is basically not there. Which brings us to my next point. <laughs> Pretty much my only issue with Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom is Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. It's boring. When an action scene isn't on screen, you don't even really give a shit. And this is coming from someone that really focuses on plots and movies. In stark contrast to Jurassic World, which spent roughly 15 minutes introducing you to the characters, giving you backstory and a reason to care about them, Fallen Kingdom just drops you into the raptor cage and says, FUCK IT! <laughs> So, here's a quick run through of the beginning of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. In Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, we're introduced to what Claire and Owen are doing now, but the plot focuses far less on the characters this time around, which normally would be fine. You don't have to focus on characters. It's fine to depart from the way they did it last time, and it would be fine, except the first one focused a fair amount on it, and well, the movie doesn't really have much of anything else going on for it other than the basic evil guy wants more money, so he's doing bad things, and good guys want to stop him because morals! It's just really sad in such a comparison. Now, this is a different director. The director of Jurassic World is returning for the third movie, but it's basically like if you condensed the new King Kong movie down to a 40-minute story arc, added 20 minutes of boring, it's exposition, but actually not at all exposition, because we don't give a shit about any of the new characters. Replaced Kong with a couple hundred dinosaurs, and then attached a brand new plot to the last hour that sort of connects to the rest of it. The second hour is arguably much better, but it doesn't help the movie that we have this abhorrent drag of an arc for the first half. Essentially, 
essentially, when a dinosaur isn't on screen, the movie struggles to figure out what to do. It's still visually amazing, but with very little meaningful direction. <laughs> Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom is overall good, but its issues are very major. You can't have a story like this one where its plot is barely there and then just not have any real character development. If there's no overarching plot and it focuses more on the characters and who they are in a movie, I judge how far the characters have come. A good character-driven movie, show, or book should have the protagonist or protagonists come out different from the beginning. It shouldn't end with the characters being practically the same, but they do in Fallen Kingdom. And again, like I said, if they had chosen to to have it be more plot focused I'd be fine with it but instead they went very bare bones very monster movie style where it's just you follow these monsters and they're affecting the people and in a franchise this just doesn't work very well even paranormal activity has more continuity here the movie sets up for the next one and I am eagerly anticipating it but when we look at Fallen Kingdom from a critical perspective it's missing a lot of what made Jurassic World good it's a bad sequel which makes me wonder what can they really do in a third movie to repair this normally when I give a rating for a movie Movie, a 9 is minor problems, an 8 is one that clearly lacks in one specific area, a 7 means several issues in many areas, and a 6 having very few good characteristics. Now, by the way I rate them, Fallen Kingdom should be an 8, since it only has one real issue, but it's a really fucking big one. No amount of dinosaurs can fix this shit, so I'm giving it a 6.5. It's definitely worth seeing for the visual accomplishments alone, but Christ, the plot needed more work than it was given. Or, again, it needed to focus more on Owen and Claire, make us care about them again. It's been three years since the events of Jurassic World. Show us something has changed, show us there's been anything than these characters falling back into the same way they were at the beginning of Jurassic World. Show a change, show there be something so that at the end of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, we're like, wow, that was, that was worth it. That was, there was something meaningful here. So yeah, that's it. Now normally I would not do something like this, but this video is something special. You see, my videos normally get claimed by the people who make the movies I review. Usually I just file a copyright dispute, wait a week, and it's all good because the companies are rational and understand the fair use laws in the US. That's why I have that disclaimer at the beginning of my videos, for ease of the case reviewer. Universal, however, does not follow that. They don't give a shit. They care less about fair use than Super Mario Bros did their source material. And for those of you wondering, here's a quick crash course. Fair use is legal if it's criticism, which these are. It has nothing to do with what money I make from the videos, and it has nothing to do with whether I have a license for the footage. So long as I'm not showing you the entirety of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom and then telling you my thoughts on it, I'm fine. Now, Universal never releases claims because they outsource their copyright to a group called Zephyr, and Zephyr employees are told to not allow disputes with rare exception. They have zero oversight and YouTube doesn't help. YouTube doesn't do anything in terms of making sure people are following the law, and it doesn't just affect me, it affects every movie review channel you've seen that has covered a universal movie. Chris Stuckman, your movie sucks. Ralph the Movie Maker, I hate everything. Fuck, even Critical. I guarantee you, he has had to deal with this ass of an organization. And listen, the money isn't the most important part about any of this for me. And I'll do this stuff even if I'm not making anything off it, because I know you guys want to see the content, and I want to make the content. But it does frustrate me that this group doesn't follow the law, and nothing is in place to stop their abuse. And since this video will be claimed the moment it finishes uploading, and they will almost definitely not watch it before rejecting my dispute. I'd like to say this to you, Universal Pictures Zephyr, fuck you. Your employer is lying. What you're doing is not in concordance with US law. If you actually have morals, approve my dispute, be a decent person. And if you have any doubts, read the chapter I provided to you in my dispute that clearly states what is and what isn't fair use under United States law, which is what YouTube does all of their guidelines based off of. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. And if you liked the video, make sure to leave a like and comment what you thought of it all. And what stuff you'd like to see me talk about next. I'm really open to basically any subject. I need a lot of videos to make during summer. I really want to put out a lot more content for you guys. And I want to make it stuff you guys are going to like. Make sure to subscribe for more content like this in the future if you did like it. And hit the bell icon to turn on notifications. And it's summertime, so I, like any good YouTuber, I'm going to shill myself out because fuck Universal. And it's some really good stuff too. I also recommend the premium tee option. It's the most goddamn comfortable t-shirt I have ever worn. And if t-shirts aren't your thing, don't worry. We've got sweatshirts, hoodies, mugs, stickers, and plenty more. The link for that and everything else you need is in the description below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.
If you'd like to have your art featured in a video, draw me or one of my wondrous characters, such as the majestic Chad the Sad, and tweet it at TV on Twitter. Huge thank you to Patreon supporters Anonymous and Matt Porter. I really appreciate it.